Welcome back to our life in the woods, everyone, where we're building this cabin, learning all these new skills for the first time, making lots of mistakes. Oh. I don't get this at all. But having the time of our life doing it. Sometimes I wonder how we found ourselves here. But if the shoe fits, when we moved here, this room was not a bathroom and it was in rough condition. And over the last few weeks, we've got up to this point by waterproofing it, laying tile, and even building a shower. It's surreal that we've made it this far, but today... We are transforming the place. Cut it already. Oh no, cut it already. I'm trying! What is going on? Wish me luck. Really starting to feel like a bathroom, eh? Whoa! Oh, leave it to us. But we actually don't have any hot water. What? Starting with walls. If you're new around here, you might be wondering why our bathroom is completely red. It's a product called Red Guard that completely waterproofs your space. You don't technically need to do your entire bathroom, but you can never be too safe. There is nothing I love more than the smell of cedar. Look how gorgeous it is. Yeah, no, it looks wonderful. Lovely. Good. I'm like very happy with it now. I think it just looks like a wall. Cleaner. It looks way cleaner. Timeless. Wait, maybe we're moving a little fast here. This isn't just another project for us. For the past four years, we haven't had an indoor bathroom. We've made do with digging holes, showering outside, or using our outhouse. With winter fast approaching, our days are numbered to complete this task. But finishing this project brings us one step closer to our ultimate goal, which is creating a sustainable year-round homestead. But more important, surviving this winter. All right, everyone. This is what we are using inside our home. I'm so excited. We are going for Nordic vibes. So the wood is gonna be going up and down rather than horizontally. And this is milled cedar wood and we're very stoked about it. We love the natural vibe to it. It's gonna look cabiny, cozy, you know? I can't There's no wait. way that we were gonna be putting drywall up. We wanted it to feel very much like a cabin still. It's so pretty. Pinterest dreams are coming true. I got you in my crew. With our beautiful cedar shiplap in hand, it's time to focus on installation. We worked late into the evening and all the next morning, cutting, nailing, and working one piece at a time. After weeks of struggles with this bathroom, we cannot wait for our very first shower at the end of the week. Last nail. Last nail. Oh my goodness, your background? It's pretty now, eh? So nice. I'm obsessed. I just love that it's real wood. Oh, it's nice, eh? Anyone ever sniff their walls? <laughs> I'm very happy with it. Good job. You too. Super proud of it. Do you love it? I'm obsessed. I think it's amazing. Today we're doing something we've never done before. I'm so excited. Wow, look at them all. And in our own backyard. Came out to the backwoods and just as we got here, start scoping out our trees and there's snowflakes falling from the sky just to make this moment that much more magical. This is a really special moment because Crystal Bell and I have never actually owned a tree together as a family as we've always been away on Christmas or we've lived in a van. And you can't really have a Christmas tree in a van or a proper Christmas tree. And it's even more special because this is gonna become a tradition every single year that we are living at our cabin. The cabin that we're making our forever home. It's really snowing! Look, Jazz! Oh, it's our wish! We've been waiting for it to snow. We chose the perfect time. And we just couldn't wait on nature any longer. Okay. And look at what it did for us. Oh, this is so, so good. So beautiful. Oh, so happy. This is the one. We're taking it home. This is the perfect tree. I'm gonna do half and you're gonna do the other half. Oh, I love that.
Our tree made a home. Do you love it? I'm obsessed. Look at it. Isn't it's, that pretty? It's so cute. I love it. Oh, sweet. It's snowing. It's really snowing. It's so pretty. This is all I wanted. You got your wish. It's baby. really coming down. Look so at, much snow. Look at the wind coming in too from that side. Look at it. I hope it stays. It's like a snow globe right now. Literally. I'm so excited for winter. Me too. And days of all plain sign. Oh my gosh, I'm lying. so happy. Literally like someone just shook us right now. I'm so happy. How gorgeous. you've ever wanted for Christmas, am I right? <laughs> the most beautiful woman in the world in a snowsuit. Oh wow, now let's take this angel and put her on top. Ready? We're the angel! Ready? Uh, We're going on top! <laughs> Here I am, Angel Jazz! I even found these old solar lights. You did? Yeah. Okay, so... A little bit of a disclaimer here. We don't own any Christmas decorations. This tree is the only thing. Oh, and the penguin our friends gave us the other day. Penguins are my favorite animal because they find a pebble and they only have one mate for life. And oh, they love them to the end of day. Oh, now isn't that sweet? So we're gonna put a penguin on our tree and you because mean, it's the only thing we actually you have. Don't want a penguin on our tree. <laughs> you like it? The dancing lights! It's cute! It's so pretty. It really, honestly, at this time of year, brings it does bring a lot of joy because of the, the lights and the greenery and just the change of scenery in here. Yeah, it's just very joyful and happy. It is. Look how pretty it is. You have a tree? It's pretty. There is no one with better advice than Momager. Am I right? As an avid user and lover of Headspace, she sent us a link to a one month free trial to start meditating. We were not entirely sure it was something we wanted to try or something we wanted to make time for, especially with all the construction going on around us. But by the time we had sat down and gone through our first 15 minutes, we felt calm, like our minds had cleared and we felt a sense of inner peace. And although we're still beginners, we can both say that meditation has allowed us to feel refreshed, more patient and prepared for any changes the day may bring. Especially important for us when heading into a daunting task like plumbing. Plumb your house, they said. It'll be fun, they said. But we actually don't have any hot water, what? It's not always easy. It's a commitment to make time for, and while we are progressing, we are experiencing challenges. Like working through getting our bodies to settle into a state of stillness, something we hadn't experienced in a long time. There's options for everyone. Guided meditation, eyes open exercises, such as mindful walks and runs, sleep content, and more. In as little as three minutes a day, Headspace can help you increase your focus, find a sense of calm, reduce stress, and sleep better. Sleep. We're not trying to force sleepiness. You're so calm, and you're good for my mental health. We're feeling so grateful to have meditation in our life and Headspace as a partner. <laughs> Bella agrees, eh? You can sign up and try out Headspace for free. There's an extended and exclusive free trial for all of our viewers. Head to the link in the description. We're having some tea to get hopped up because welcome to the transformation station about to arrive in the bathroom. <laughs> Are you ready? Anytime we get started into an electrical or a plumbing project, Jasmine gets uber passionate about it and geeks out real hard. You just look so great with the shower, the wood and the tree and the OSB. You're enjoying the backdrop. I can't, oh my god, sorry, I had to stop. It's pretty, eh? Okay, back to business. It's like big head light up, not that one. Yeah, that one. Wow, that's quite a nice move. Would it be a Van Wives Bell and Izzy vlog if we didn't do this? Come on, Bell. Tip number one, buy lots of extra pieces. And return them when you don't use them. Or get more, <laughs> you have to. Yeah. Tip number two, 
Plow it on the ground first. Shut off water supply. Do you think this is a good idea or a bad idea? Well, I don't think we have any other option. It's literally perfect. Center. Oh wow, that's so lucky, I tell ya. That's so lucky. Keeping something watertight is always the scariest part. What I'm learning is you just need to make moves. You just need to do it. You just need to cut the holes big enough that way you have room to work with. What do you say? I have the opposite advice. I say take your time, read the instructions. Well, obviously you, <laughs> we've been doing that, but I think after you've read them so much, you literally just have to be like, I need do to it. cut a huge hole yeah. in my shower. Do. Good work. You know how they do it? Yaman! Yeah, Yaman! Yeah, we now know where the mixer is going to set, and we are putting dope on all of the ends. And Jasmine's using her new tools to tighten everything up. New tool. Nice. I love it. No leaks happen in, in this house. How fun. Pretty neat, I gotta say. Oh, it would probably be perfect, actually. Woohoo! Might need to extend it a bit. Yeah. Can so, you do that? Yeah, man. You can do whatever you want in life. <laughs> <laughs> Quotes by Jess. <laughs> yeah, man. You can do whatever you want in life. <laughs> We've now taken the mixer off for the one billionth time, but we're realizing it's much easier to do it while you're right here. It's hilarious to think that this would be done so fast if someone else were doing it, but I love that we're doing it ourselves. Oh, 100%. So I'll walk you through what we just spent the last few hours doing. <laughs> <laughs> inlet, inlet, outlet, outlet, outlet. Two inlets, three outlets. Bathtub, do not own. Shower head. The one that comes down. We have one of those. Rainfall shower head. We have one of those. Hot cold. Mixer. Handles. Go work, Paul. Da -da. I like the kettle. No, there's hardly any water. Do you think water's gonna come out? Yeah. Cut it already. Oh no! Cut it already? Put the bottom! Cut it! I'm trying! <laughs> now imagine I'm holding a fing kettle. <laughs> We're doing a full kettle. Oh no! <laughs> froze, eh? Froze. Yeah! So I call. Sorry. That looks good! Height wise, you know what I'm saying? Way till I'm that? People are like six feet, Crystal. I'm short. All right, this is a super exciting step. We just had to figure out how high to put our rainfall shower head. We weren't really thinking about that until, you know, you get into it. You built it. You, you build, build it and you stand on it and you're like, oh wow, this is quite small. But we're gonna put it about seven feet. Seven one. Seven one. Google recommends for taller people because we wanna be able to be f inclusive. at least inclusive in some way. So <laughs> <sighs> leave it to us. <laughs> These instructions absolutely rule. They're the best. The mixer rule. rule. The mixer is in. Woo! Now we're gonna do the trim, Jazzy. And then we're gonna shower because we haven't showered in way too long. Five days. Because we keep thinking we'll have a shower. Optimistic. But now we're smelly. Good. Wow! It's what is dying. going on? Like it's so pretty. Because had we not decided to put the rainfall shower head in the shower, if you can tell like how tall I am compared to this cubicle, it, if we put the shower head on here, it would hardly be a shower. It'd be more of like a shoulder down wash. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we uh, attempt to do the mixer now? Are you up for the challenge? I'm up. For the challenge. Let's do it! Do we know what way our oh, lights are? Hot. <laughs> you know, well, I would hope they're on the right way. I'm cold on the right, hot's on the left. Yeah, that's the way she goes. Perfectly engaged. Nice. Pieces are getting low. 
and the instructions are losing quality. <laughs> you know, the next time you're having a shower and it looks like it's just a handle, it's not. There's like a hundred pieces. <laughs> it's the heart of the shower, as Jasmine would say. <laughs> Let's make this romantic. I think the shower might be a little bit too much for me. I never know how to use these mixtures whenever I use someone's shower that has them. I'm actually thinking this is the volume. Wait, what? I thought I'm it was hot and cold. I thought so too. We'll find out soon. What? Someone steady wins that race. I have a present for you. Thanks so much. Ready to test the wall. Oh! <laughs> How's it going? Oh, if you're having a shower, your lid might pop off of you. Don't be scared. I don't get it. I need a YouTube video. I am digging the mixer. It looks super good. Wasn't sure at first, but fancy shower you got out there in the woods. We all know who has to go under the house. All of our plumbing is underneath our house. I have to connect the shower drain to the sink drain where they all connect back here. Wish me luck. Is that your mama? Uh, here, here. How are you doing today? Is your mama in there? Hello. Where is she? Is she in there? Are you ready? I'm freaking cold. The steams are over. Do you know what's coming? What's coming? Shower time. What? Shower time. <laughs> Can you push up the right oh, side? The tube, and then we can just cut the tube down. Why? Not working. God, I literally said this 10 days ago. Can we change spot? <laughs> Woo! Good work. Good work. It's really crawling out from the depths when you're coming out of there. Oh, turn around. <laughs> Do a little turn around first. Damn. She's dark and cold. We did it though. Good work. Now, we built a shower. Woo, it's beautiful. Wow. Red eyes and bromance with plans we don't know yet. People will talk about. Oh, what is this? Our bathroom vanity. Do you want to see what it looks like? Oh my gosh, we've been waiting for this day for how long? It's too long. Oh, maple wood. Oh, oh rookies. <laughs> Now that's silly. Holy moly. No, it fits perfect. It's so Look pretty. Look how pretty that is. It's really starting to feel like a bathroom, eh? Wow! Oh, I can't believe it. Make a moves. We're off to showering. It's looking good. Yeah, it's almost time to shower. I think I'm speechless right now. I oh, know, I don't have many words. Looks great. Can't get over this. Good job. Good, we're a team. I literally can't get over this. Oh my God, no chance without you. Oh, it's like a highway with no destination. There are thousands of stars in the sky tonight. It's a brisk, cold winter evening. It's so silent. And this is the type of work that needs to be done no matter what time it is. But the combination of the bright sky, the little flashlight I'm carrying, and the smoke coming out of the chimney, you just can't beat it. Warms your heart. <laughs> Warms the soul. I have to go right now. I can't wait any longer. What? Crystal! Look, Santa came early! The gift of an indoor toilet? He knows us so well. It's beautiful! Santa, you did good! What is going on? Wow, that's so sweet. All right, now's the time to test for leaks. Fingers crossed we can finally have a shower. Oh, the hot water heater's not plugged in. BRB. Working? We have water. No leaks yet. Are we plumbers? Plumbers, baby! Okay, it's not hot yet, but let's see what happens. It might get hot. But we actually don't have any hot water. What? I don't know. Seems like less pressure now. Whatever you did. This is what we get for buying a fancy mixer. But we are determined to have a hot shower. We put our heads together, determined to find the solution. Let's troubleshoot. There is hot water at every spout but the shower. After three hours, my hand is numb from water that is 270 feet down in the earth. And luckily, a few hours later, the problem was solved and we can finally have our long awaited shower. All right, everyone, it's time to have our first shower inside at the cabin. This is a game changer, as I can't you all know. It. 
I'm so excited. And to be totally transparent, it's been six and a half days since I had my last shower because I've been holding out for this one. Getting steamy. No way. I am next to no words. <laughs> Check it in there, watch. Uh huh. With winter settling in and the snow finally here to stay, we are reminded that this is a time for slowing down. A time for rest and reflection and spending time with the ones we love. These next few weeks, you'll find us sitting by the fire or cuddling on the couch. But today we can't help but to reflect on the incredible year we've had. Our hearts are full with gratitude for each and every one of you watching. Thank you all for showing up every Sunday for us and allowing us to share our lives with you. Sundays are honestly our favorite day of the week. We gain so much valuable information and love from the comments. And saying that, we are going to miss you all because we are not going to be posting until January 22nd. We're going to be taking an extended break, preparing for cabin life season three. We can't wait to kick it off. We know this year is going to be a great one and we can't wait to connect with you even more this year. Remember, we're phoning yeah, because we can't wait to connect on the phone. Maybe one day in real life, but for right now, we got the telephones. We're super excited to chat to you all. Enjoy your holidays, rest up, and we're sending lots of love from us four to all of you. Love you all. Enjoy your holidays. We love you. <laughs>